Hello! Welcome again to Fantastic English Fluency Tips and more with Charles. Charles here, good to be with you. Well, I welcome if it's your first time or if you've been here before, welcome back. Good to see you again. Today's English Fluency Tips is with the little old word of, as you'll see on the board, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, the little word, the preposition of, is a big word in a lot of ways because it is used on so many platforms and conversations and in so very many ways. But today, I would like to share tips with you about the usage of, of, <laughs> you see, of, of, with consonants and vowels. This is a pronunciation tip. English fluency tip for pronunciation in your honing your listening skills ability and of course speech as well you know the listening skills uh, are very very important for uh, fluency because if you can hear understand and uh, comprehend what is being said then your English fluency goes up about 10 notches each time you improve your hearing skills. So let's jump into this so it can be of benefit to you. Oh yeah, and do tell a friend and if they're interested, if they've seen this and they like what they're hearing and would like to hear more, well, subscribe, yeah, give a like, and don't forget to turn on notifications so we'll keep in touch. All right, on with the lesson now. Like I said, of is a little word with a wide scope of usage. So let's go into this right away. Well, you can look at the board behind me here that I prepared for you. See here we've got the um, of before a consonant and before a vowel. I'd like to study with the uh, consonants first today. Well, here are we, we are with consonants and the word of. Look at the sentence or this phrase, I should say. A bowl of soup is what's written, but when we go to put that into conversation, we would do, we cross out the v, v, we don't include the v pronunciation there, but we cut it out, so to speak, and we say it this way, a bowl of soup. Now this is the O, but you remember the pronunciation for O is not O most of the time, but more times than not, uh, or uh, it becomes a little bit indifferent and not so clear. Just a sound to connect uh, words and pronunciation together. So let's go over that again. A bowl of soup. The O is just a uh. You see that? A bowl of soup. A bowl of soup becomes a bowl of soup. Why don't you try that? A bowl of soup. Yes. Good. What's more? A bowl of soup. All right. And we have another sentence here. A head of lettuce. You see the F is dotted out again. It becomes no sound as if it weren't there. A head of lettuce. This D too, I'd like you to uh, notice that the connection is of the with the O as in bowl and O But the head is not the D is not strong ahead. It becomes very weakened Don't hedo hedo in the Japanese language often of these uh, uh, Ending sounds will put a O or a O or a U on it. We don't need that sound here Please listen a head of lettuce It even gets softer Listen again, please. A head of lettuce. Head up, head up, head up. Do you get the connection there? It connects with the A. A head of lettuce, a head of lettuce. It kind of gets your goat, doesn't it? 
Not so easy to say. Get your goat as a different expression. We can talk about it another time. A slang term or a idiom, so to speak. Let's go back to here to this again. Start with a bowl of soup. Wonder what kind of soup it is. Hmm. Soup sounds good right now. A bowl of soup. Repeat. A bowl of soup. Good. A head of lettuce becomes a head of lettuce. Good. A head of lettuce. You see, these are connections. We've got connections with the word and the O in the phrase. Let's go to the next one. Before vowels this time. Consonants and vowels. The English language, as you know, is broken up into two basic uh, parts consonants and vowels so the word of with before vowels let's go into that shall we a bag of onions becomes a bag of onions a bag of onions this time we don't uh it we of it we connect it but the f is not crossed out and as you know although it's f, -f we pronounce it usually with a little more of a v, v, v of, of sound, don't we? Let's go to that now. We don't cut it out this time. We connect it together so it sounds broken down, but it's put in there. Listen closely. A bag of onions. A bag of onions. You see, I'm saying the word of clearly. A bag of onions. Okay, you try that. A bag of onions. Good. It's not ov, ov now. You don't have to go that far. You were say we're putting the word in there, but it's not the ov sound that you often hear um, spoken from non-national speakers, non-native speakers, I say. Here we go again. A bag of onions. Did you get that? Let's look down here. Oh, this sounds good, doesn't it? Well, I'll tell you my favorite dish of ice cream. Uh, at the end. Stick around and you'll get to hear what my favorite ice cream is. First of all, let's go into this phrase. A dish of ice cream. You see, I've got the of in there, of in there. I'm not cutting the of out this time. A dish of ice cream. You try it. Yes, once more. A dish of ice cream. That's very good. A dish of ice cream or a dish of ice cream is very good. So you see, before the vowel sound, the of is said very clearly. And before the consonant sound, it is nearly deleted. Of, of, you don't put it into uh, pronunciation. You just skip over it and do the ah uh sound. Let's go over those once more for your fluency. A bowl of soup. A head of lettuce. Good. Now with the vowels. A bag of onions. A dish of ice cream. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? There are many different kinds and I like Baskin Robbins and uh, many other kinds too. Uh, yeah, Lady Borden's good too. Anyway, so have you been able to guess what my favorite flavor of ice cream is yet? Favorite flavor, did you catch that, of ice cream is yet? <laughs> what flavor is your favorite? Okay, mine is chocolate. Did you get that? I like chocolate. I like chocolate chocolate ice cream. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by and uh, listening to these tips for your uh, usage of 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 see how often we use this little word it's a little biggie it's a big little one so let's keep going and uh, using this word in our daily language daily speaking for fluency and do use it in your next conversation with a friend practice using it with the deleted F and the connected 
word and the vowel. So try that with your connections and try that with your deleted F and I'll see you on the next video. Please enjoy your ice cream, whatever flavor it is, and next time we'll be getting around town, going around town, asking and giving directions. So please join us on the next video. So turn on your notifications, give a like, and do subscribe so you'll be able to see the next video. English Fluency Tips with Charles. See you again.